Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Katie on camera. She's looking very brown today. Been out in the sun all day. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And today I'm talking about potting up your diorama. I've been selling quite a lot of diorama this year. And if you're putting it in a pot, it's important that you have the right compost. It's a perennial plant, and so it will need the right nutrition to carry on the next year. Multi-purpose compost will look all right for this year, but in a few years, you'll notice your plant will not be as happy as it could be. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, these are diorama. Katie, you can spin in. Look at these beautiful flowers. They're called angel's fishing rods. They take a long time to grow. This is one of the few that I have left that I keep for um, seed. Um, all the ones, the rest that came into flower this year have um, all been sold. Uh, these seedlings here, Katie, if you can spin in, these are a year old. These, was, these were from the 1st of um, September last year, these went in. So as you can tell, these plants take a long time to grow, they take a long time to flower, but I've done most of the work for you. So I've got these plants at the moment that are from a seed sowing in 2015. These are lovely, beautiful, strong plant there. If you're buying it through the post, it will be cut down to two foot long because otherwise the postage is more than the plant. It's just the way it goes. But don't worry, they grow back, they grow back wonderfully and very quickly as well. Once they're established, they really start to kick off. And we're gonna be potting up that one in a terracotta pot, like this. Now you need a few things to do this. You need the pot itself, of course. You need some crocs to go at the bottom. Just broken up bits of pot, they're perfectly all right. And it's for good drainage. Diorama like good drainage. They'll take it cold and they'll take it wet but their roots must not become waterlogged. If they become waterlogged, they will die um, and freeze and all the rest of it. So good drainage is key. Put that down there. And then we're onto the compost itself. Now this is essential. If you want to keep a perennial plant, a plant that comes back year after year, if you want to keep it in a pot for more than a year, you have to incorporate soil. You can't just use multi-purpose um, grow bags or anything like that. It, will, it lacks nutrition, it hasn't got the right stuff in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mix for the diorama. Now diorama, they like good drainage and they like rich soil. And so I've got four parts, Casey, if you can spin in. Now I've got four parts topsoil. Now this is lovely, nutritious topsoil. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. We also have one part here of recycled grow bag. I've sieved this, um, but this has no nutrition in it, but it will give um, the, the plant in the pot, it will give it air and it will also retain water. And also because it needs good drainage, we've got a load of gritty sand. Spin in here. It's called Biddeford Grit in England. I don't know what it would be called anywhere else, but it's quite a gritty sand um, that helps the water go through and stops these roots becoming waterlogged. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our mix. Also, oh, I forgot a slow release fertilizer now what i'm using here is fish blood and bone if you're using chicken poo pellets they're quite strong um, and i wouldn't use them in this situation fish blood and bone is a lot milder or something like hoof 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 and horn <laughs> um a hoof and horn as well that's a, that's another good slow release fertilizer but you can't use hoof and horn if you're growing vegetables in that place because of the foot and mouth issue Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna just gonna do it in a pot like this. Big old thing. Katie, if you can spin in here and show the people. Look, and I'm just gonna pop in all of this stuff. Get it all out of the way. Pop it up here. There you are, get in. And sand goes in. You see all this? Everything goes in there like that. And then I'm gonna give it a good old mix. Now you wanna keep on mixing it until it looks like, oh, fertilizer. There we go. You want to keep on mixing it in until it all turns into the same colour. Making sure you get right around the corners and that's looking good now. That's right, lovely, beauty, beauty, beauty. So I'll put the compost down there. Then we get our pot. Now, diorama, as I said, love good drainage. It's very, very important. So you want a big hole in the pot and then we put the crocs in. And an idea that you can do is, if you've broken up old plant pots, you'll get one that's got a curve on it. Can you see that, Katie? Yep. So what we do is, we put that, if you spin in here, we put that over the hole with the curve sort of curving up. So it creates a little bit of a, a gap so the water can get in. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get a bit of sand. Oh, over here, point that. We're gonna get a bit of sand, and I'm just gonna pop that in the bottom, like that, like that. And that will stop any soil or something that could clog up the hole getting in there. And then we're going to put a few more crocs in again, like this, like that. And this just allows the water to flow free, 
and you won't get it clogging up. Now, our pot and our plant, our beautiful diorama. Oh, look at these seeds forming. Okay, you can spin up a bit. Look, once, once the flower's been pollinated, um, the seeds start to form. This is what I'm collecting. This is one of my mother plants, you see. And these sort of seeds are starting to form. They'll be ripe soon. I'll do a little video on how to uh, pop those up. But again, from that stage, we're, we're waiting a few years. Right, here's our plant, lovely plant. I'm gonna pop it out of the pot. I've given it a good soak first. I gave it a good old water. Now we've got roots here, yep. And if you, you wanna tease them apart, but you wanna be very gentle because the roots are quite brittle. You know, don't give them, a, it's not like a plant where you can actually really give it a bit of, bit of a um, rough treatment. This is something you've got to be quite, especially with the larger roots. There we are. That'll do, that'll do. A little bit of a rough around the edge. I'm going to pop that down there. I'm going to put a little bit of compost in the bottom of my pot. Like this. Probably enough. All right. And then I'm going to stick the plants in. Now we want to make sure that this bit here, this top bit of the plant, the pots, we know where it's come out, is a good inch, two and a half centimetres below the top of the pot. This is because if we fill it up to the top and when we water, we'll only get a little bit of water sitting on the top there and it will only sink down this much. Got to remember, the water is going to sink down about nine times the depth that it's on top. So as long as we've got that distance, if we fill it up with water, we know that the roots at the bottom are going to get wet and uh, our plant will be lovely. Right, I'm just going to fill that up around the edge with our compost, like this. Make sure you uh, centralise the plant and make it get it upright. <laughs> uh, they, they sort of themselves out after a bit. And I scoop off like that, and there we go. See what I mean? You want to be leaving, you know, you want to be leaving a good gap at the top. Very, very important. And then the last thing we do, as we do with all things that we've potted up, if I pop it on the floor here, Katie, and if you can just spin down and show the people, we give it a good, good soaking. Now, diorama, they don't mind it wet. They can live next to ponds. This is why they're called angel's fishing rods. But the drainage has got to be there. The drainage has got to be there. They'll also dry out tremendously. Wonderful plants. I'm going to leave that to soak through, and um, that's going to go back outside. They need a bit of a tidy up in the spring. You get a few dead leaves appearing on them, but, um, but apart from that, they're pretty no-hassle plants. Nice full sun, and um, you'll have lovely, lovely flowers. It's been Robbie Phoenix, down at Stinky Ditch Nursery, showing you how to pot up your diorama with Katie, who's very brown, on um, camera. Thanks for watching.